What's up YouTube, it's your boy Stance here and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new series here on the channel guys. We have returned to Pixelmon Generations. We looked far and wide for the perfect server for us. And it's only right that our host for How to Pixelmon, Pokey Mayhem, invited me over to his Neo server to play on it. And it's only right that I hop on and do so, guys. So, uh, from my understanding, the Neo server is a story-based server, um, along with survival-based. So you can play this. The, you can pretty much play the server either or, either way. Um, but to be honest, I think we're gonna mess with the story because it's kind of something that I've always really wanted in Apex Mod server, and I think we've had one before on Reforged, but. The time is now. The time is now, and we're on generations to get this started, guys. So, of course, Pokey Mayhem, IP, all the good stuff in the description below. But just like a brand new Pixmon series affiliated with Pokey Mayhem, I got you guys a brand new code you guys can use. Stands10 gets you 10% off of anything on the store. Of course, code is in the description. You guys can check that out. Uh, if you guys are wondering, well, oh, 10% isn't that great. Dude, $10 off of $100 is kind of a lot. You're like, that's not a lot, that's not a lot. Well, considering you're spending $100 to begin with, yeah, yeah, it is, dude. I, it's going to help you out, man. But of course, it's not just $400. It could be literally for anything you want. And someone just flew out. That was amazing. You just flew out from underneath me, or from above me. <laughs> What's going on? All right, so let's get started. So, uh, wins, oh, it keeps track of your wins loss ratio. That's pretty cool. There's a talent flame. I'm assuming, yeah, someone's on that. That's cool. Uh, and then we have like the starters and stuff like that. This is pretty cool. Um, this is nifty. This is nice and nifty, but I think it's time to get started. So let's take a look at the book. Pokey Crafts Pixelmon. Well, it's Pokey Mayhem. You know, they're the same thing. They're the same thing. Welcome to Pokey Crafts Pokey uh, Mayhem server. And then let's just get started, guys. So page two, let's get you started. So you started your, uh, you've received your starter kit. Now it's time to start your journey. Speak to the professor who will direct you where to go from here. Defeat your rival or to, to receive a further field kits pokey crafts is a survival and story mode server where you can choose to follow the path or go it alone following the story will give you extra items and a far more enjoyable experience as you can come back whenever you like and continue where you left off just like i was mentioning you can play either or and still get enough content out of it if you choose to play Pixmon just as survival that's cool too you have all the same benefits as everyone else we recommend at least playing the story till you beat gary so I don't know if it means like being Gary like at the beginning or like at the end. I'm assuming at the beginning because you get the kit, right? Slash spawn will return you to spawn. That's good to know. RTP, start your journey in a random location. Info, get more uh, detailed information regarding commands. That's good. And warp info. And then of course you can vote on the server. And we'll be doing the vote uh, a little bit uh, later on in the series just to show it off. Every server has it and you get nice little uh, rewards and stuff like that, which is cool. Warp slash warps is good, so you can warp to the different towns. And, uh... Oh, okay, that's cool. New warps or towns can be obtained throughout your journey, so you, you don't automatically have them, which is really, really good. Common knowledge, but take a look. It, really, guys, just don't be a bad person. I guess that's the best way of wording it without coming off as a bad person. I'm trying to be PG, guys. I'm trying to be PG. Uh, so whenever you see a sign that says click, story progression signs will tell you where to go and what you need to complete next quest. When you see the story sign, NPC direction, speak to the nearest NPC to continue your quest, okay? When you see a, uh, a green quest, these are for side quests. These are short and not part of the main story. Trainer tip, these signs will give you useful hints or commands during your journey. Cool, that's great to know. Thanks for taking a moment to read this book. We hope you have fun here and enjoy our unique server. And speak to the professor to have or to start your journey. Have fun. P.S. Is that a pokey stop outside? Maybe that may help you on your journey. Good luck beating Gary. Man, they're hyping up Gary. To be honest, I'm kind of scared. Is Gary gonna be like really, really hard to beat? So where is the professor? Obviously, I think this is our starter home, so this is not where the professor would be. So let's head off this way. Do I have my boots? I don't have boots. Do we not have boots? Oh, yeah. there's a lichen rock. Is that a wild lichen rock? Yo, there's multiple ly lichen rocks around here. I'm gonna catch one. What is this? Uh, oh, these are the warps. Okay, so this is the warp house. All right, we'll worry about that later. But that's good to know. And I'm assuming this is a professor's place. Yes, it is. is that Pikachu? I want a Pikachu. Oh, like that Aegis Slash, dude. The Legend of Zelda themed Aegis Slash. I didn't know that was a thing. 
So welcome to Poke Mayhem. Okay, cool. Um, nothing special here. What is this? Uh, rank upgrade. So these are for the upgrades that you can purchase on the store and stuff like that. Cool. Where's the professor? Is this even where the professor's at? Probably not, right? This is probably just like added bonus for the people that have rank. Yeah, it seems like it. Seems like it. Sadly, sadly, sadly. That's all good though. We, you know, it's not. Oh god, I'm still lost. It's, it's it, it wouldn't be right not to get lost on an adventure, right? You know, that's the point of it. So, uh, that's a Pokemon Center. That's very clear that that's a Pokemon Center. That seemed to be the professor's place. Why am I thinking that it's not? Am I wrong? So that's a Pokemon Center. Uh, our home is this house. Is that the pr professor? Could be. Just follow the path, right? Follow the path. What does this sign say? Uh, it's, it's, it's a sign. What is this? This is a Pokemart. Just keep going down the path. I'm pretty sure you'll find the professor. What is that? That's the owner's quest. So it's quest coming on the server. That's pretty cool. Ghastly, Deerlings. I feel like that was the professor's place. Uh, yeah, I think that was the professor's place. Okay, guys. Uh, while we head for the professor's place, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys, you know, these episodes are going to be pretty short, uh, ranging from about 15 to 20 minutes. Of course, on occasion, they'll go a little bit longer. And I, I don't want you guys to feel obligated to watch this if Pixamon is not your thing. But I'm telling you guys, it's going to be pretty fun. I, I think it's going to be really fun because this is it's kind of... Wait. What's through here? I just saw something. Didn't I? Oh, I saw a person. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, don't feel obligated to watch this, guys. If you guys aren't really into Pixelon, don't don't worry about it. If you guys want to support me, that's a different story, man. I would really appreciate your support uh, regardless. Where's this professor at? Where are you at? Um, not in here. Do I have to relog for him? Maybe he's like somewhere around here and then I have to relog because it's an NPC that disappears? Maybe? That sounds logical, right? Um... Right? I, this totally seems like this would be the professor's place. The way it's like hyped up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How do I get up there? Is it through here? Oh, it is through here. Okay. So speak to the professor after the selection. Oh, how do I... Oh, we're going to pick a Pokemon. It took me too long to figure this place out. Yeah, I got here to the first side. All right, so I'm assuming that's going to be grass, that's going to be fire, and that's going to be water, right? But is it going to be from, like, I'm assuming this is going to be from, like, uh, Generation 1. So my choice automatically is going to be Bulbasaur. But do I want Squirtle? I think I'm going to start Squirtle. Wait. Okay, wait. Do I talk to you? Speak to the professor after this. Okay. Welcome, Pokemon, uh, Pokey Mayhem. Are you ready to start your Pixelmon journey? If you haven't already, uh, choose your starter from the selection to my right. After you have chosen, you will need to get a field kit from Gary in the blue house next door. Be warned, you may have to battle him for it. Do I have to go around here and pick? I would have to click the sign, right? How do I get started? You do not have permission to do that. What do you mean I don't have permission to do that? I need a starter. Give me a starter. What if I click that? What? I'm so lost. All right, so I messaged an admin on their Discord. I don't want to bother Mage just because I know he's in a different time zone than where I'm at. And he may not be awake, so I don't want to bother him. So I, I decided to see if there's an admin on, and I messaged the admin. They said they're going to be coming here. I don't know if it's already been fixed, so I'm going to try it one more time. Nope, still not. Still not fixed. So now we're just waiting on the admin at this point uh, so they can... I hope they don't just give me a starter. I want to actually pick this. Like, it's so much more hype to actually pick the starter more than like them just give it to you. So please, please let me pick it. Let me pick it. Actually, well, I presume this is gonna be Bulbasaur. That's gonna be Squirtle. I mean, that's gonna be Charmander. That's gonna be Squirtle. I think I want Squirtle. I think I do. Uh, and I don't want Bulbasaur. Man, decisions, decisions. See, I think if I would have impulse picked uh, Squirtle, I, I would have been fine. But mm, so many decisions. No! Okay, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that in chat. But the game thinks that I have my starter already. So, sadly, she's just going to give it to me. I'll take blue. Can I go... 
Can I go water type, please? It's so like, mm, so sad. Like I really, I really wanted to pick it myself. Ooh, what's Al Alpha Wolf wants to TP? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, we can pick any of them. Uh, Froki. I want Froki. Please. Oh, I didn't know you could pick anyone. Oh, I could have picked Mudkip. No. Mm. Oh, man. The, see, this picking your starter is just really, really, like... You guys ever see those videos on, on a... I got it, Froki! T.Y. 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 All right, so, I don't, real quick, before we move on, um, if you guys ever see those, like, videos, I'm so antsy right now to start the, like, the, the whole thing. So, you guys ever watch those uh, Facebook videos where, like, the, the kid picks, like, the starter Pokemon and stuff like that? Well, uh, they only usually do Generation 1, but if I ever have a kid and they want to pick a starter Pokemon, I'm going to show them every single one. Right now we're on Generation 7, Generation 8 is rumored for next year. So <laughs> by the time I have a kid, it's going to be like Generation 20. And uh, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> imagine that, just imagine that. Let's take a look at Froki. He's really, really small though. Look at him, he's really, really small. Yo, where are you going? Yo, I want, I want to show you over here, dude. Froki. He's really small. What do we have? What are we working with, Froki? So he's a torrent. So he's not hidden ability, sadly. Bubble and pound. Uh, Hind special attack. I think you want that, right? Probably wouldn't want. No, no, no. You don't. I don't know. I don't play too competitive. But now that we have our starter, we can get started with our story. So, uh, speak to the professor. Uh, if you haven't, okay, I've chosen it. After you choosing, you will need to get a field kit from Gary in the house next door. Let's go ahead and take a look at Gary. Gary, what am I got? I think I need to go downstairs one more. No, no, no. The door. The door. Yeah. So the blue house, right? Which is this one. And we gotta go talk to Gary. What up, Gary? What up? Uh, click after beating Gary. Okay, where's Gary at? Hey, there he is. Uh, story, he's telling me to battle Gary. After defeating Gary to... Uh, click after defeating Gary to progress the story. Nice. Okay, so... Easy peasy. Oh, he has Eevee. Dude, Eevee looks so cool. So I recently played Pokemon Go for the community day for Eevee, and I ended up with like nine shinies for Eevee. And I was just like, oh, cool. And then like throughout that weekend, I just kept evolving out of just evolving. And uh, I ended up... Oh, he dunked me out, dude. Well then. Well... <laughs> no, so uh, I just kept evolving like throughout the nights and the weekend and stuff like that And I was just like, oh, let's, you know, let's get ourselves some Try to get all the evolutions and stuff like that And I got them all Well, all the ones that are in the game So we're missing Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon And I'm pretty happy about that because I, uh, I didn't waste all my Eevees I, I think I have like three or four Eevees left So I'm a little happy about that Is that another crit? Dude, I Game? Game? Okay, okay. Alright, I won! Let's go! And I got a level off of that. Let's go! Yeah, I got some cash off of that. A golden shovel. So this is for, gonna be for claims, if I'm not mistaken. Um, anything in chat? Nope. That's, we have to click this though, right? After defeating, you click that. Oh, here it is! Well, here is your field kit the professor gave me for you. You have everything you need to start your journey. I would use the golden shovel to set up your home first before progressing to Celadon. It's north of here. If you get lost at any point, my sister gave me a town map to give to you. You can find it here using slash map. That's pretty cool. The last tip I can give you is to find apricorns. You need them to make Pokeballs if you can't afford to buy them from the Pokemon. Uh, my sister wants to speak to you before you go. And then they gave me the spawn to the stands. Okay, I, I think I'm going to go. What is this actually? Oh, what is this? Uh, you should speak with Gary's sister before leaving. And then I think I passed her on the way up. Nice. So is is the book? Yeah, here she is. The book I'm pretty sure is just gonna keep like. Uh, let's see. Gary's upstairs playing with his new Eevee. He really wants to battle you as he thinks he has chosen the best Pokemon. I really don't want you to leave town, but until you beat Gary, he won't either. Gary's upstairs. Okay, so I click that. So before you go, I think you should visit Old Man Pete. He lives at number eight. I think he has a request of you. Okay, cool. What is this? Speak to old man Pete, located in house number eight. Nice. Okay, let's keep going. 
We're going to do that and then uh, bounce at, or call it an episode after we finish this up. What is this? This is number two. This is number three. Uh, four, five. Right? That's five, right? Four. No, that's still four. So this would be five. I think. Yeah. This would be six. Yes, we're getting there. We know how to count, guys. We know how to count. Seven and eight. Nice. So, uh, Old Man Pete is upstairs. Let's go. So, uh... Oh, hey there, trainer. I know the professor has sent you on a quest for him. Could you please run a quick errand for me before you go? My pillow on my bed is very uncomfortable. I think it needs a few extra feathers to fluff it up. Do you mind going out and bringing me some back? Whoa, dude. Uh, old Man Pete needs you to, your help making his pillow more comfortable. Gather five feathers and bring them back to Pete. And I hear flying Pokemon often drop feathers. Maybe try looking for them uh, for Pokemon with wings. Okay, cool. That should be easy. Uh, click after or to give. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's get started. So uh, we should probably heal first. Heal first. Once we heal, we can start looking around. I know I've seen some hoot hoots around, so it should be easy prey. I really do want a Lycan Rock though, so we might catch a Lycan Rock today. Not too sure. All right, guys. So. There happens to be a few Pokemon that I do want to catch right now. I don't know if I should, but I'm going to... Well, okay, I'm going to attempt to catch. Because uh, there's probably no chance that I'll catch you guys anything. Anyway, so there's two. So the first one is this Larvitar that's right here. And the next one is the Clefairy that's on that cliff right there. Like, these two Pokemon are pretty cool. And they kind of, you know, balance the team out a little bit. Uh, so should I try my luck with this Larvitar? I mean, I'm not going to kill it, obviously. So I'm just going to chuck Pokeballs at it and hope that it works. Please work, please work, please. I just lost a button. Try it one more time. Please work, please work, please work. Did I just lose a Pokeball? Oh, no, I hit it. Oh, okay, maybe I, I should try a Great Ball. No, no, no. I wanted a Pokeball, though. Did I hit it? Or did I lose a Pokeball again? How did he break free? I don't even see it. Okay. One more time. I shouldn't be wasting my Pokeballs. I shouldn't be wasting my Pokeballs. I gotta keep telling myself that I shouldn't be wasting them. I shouldn't. Mm, mm. Am I gonna keep doing it? Yes, I am. Might as well use them all. Might as well use them all. I have no problem using them all. Just catch. Larvitar, please. I just wanna be your friend, dude. Please. No, 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 kill yourself, dude. I wanna be your friend. One, two. Fudge. I can't believe you. Dude, come on. Don't be like this. Larvitar, I can't catch the Clefairy now because it's daytime and I'm pretty sure it's gone. It's because of you, Larvitar. I committed to you. Come on, dude. I committed to you. Like, I want to be your friend, Larvitar. Please. 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 No! No, the reset's gonna start in a minute. No! No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on. Catch. Catch. Oh, I caught it! Yes! Wait, is the Clefairy still here? Clefairy? Oh, it's still there! I have one chance. I have one chance to catch this thing. One, one chance to catch this thing before the server restart. Please. Please. Oh, it's so high leveled. So high leveled. There we go. It's gonna go in. It's gonna catch. Easy. Oh. Oh. I mean, I caught one of the two Pokemon that I wanted, right? Oh no, the server starts in 30 seconds. Okay, so we'll continue our quest here before we finish off the episode here today. We're just gotta have to let, you know, let the server restart, right? Just have to let it start. Restart. Restart. Yes. I mean, at least you can defeat Pokemon a little bit easier now. Like, that flying Pokemon right there, we gotta kill it. Ooh, new move. Yeah, get rid of growl. And there you have it, guys. Five feathers, guys. This took me, legit took me like an hour to do. I don't know if there's like easier way to do it on this server, but I got myself five feathers that we need for our quest. Now we had to have to head over to, uh, I guess you would call them apartment numbers, right? They all seem like apartments. So apartment number eight or house number eight. Uh, and then deliver the flower, or not the flowers. Why do I keep wanting to say flowers? The uh, feathers. We should be good to go, or you are seven, so it's this house right here. Let's head up here. We have the five flowers. So if I uh, click the sign, I'm going to give the old man five flowers. Uh, oh, hey there. I know the professor sent you. Okay, yeah, I gave you the flowers. Did it? Okay. Uh, he needs help. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, you have to have them in hand for you to do it. Okay. Thank you so much. Now I can finally get a good night's sleep. Uh, I hear you're heading to Celadon. You should visit my brother. 
He lives at number two. I think his name is Andrew Anyu. What? Andrew Anyways? Oh. Okay, no, no, okay. I read that completely wrong. But okay, cool. So we have this going for us. Actually, I wonder if we, should, we, we can keep these books. I want to just get rid of them if I can do that. Um, but I, I don't know if it, keep, it like holds a merit to, you know, getting rid of them, keeping them for the story-wise and stuff like that. So I have to head over to number two. Um, I guess once they let me leave the city, I think that's when we'll end today's episode. You're our number two. So you should be whoever I'm looking for. You're right here. So it's you. Uh, with my... No? What? What? This is number two, right? Number two. Oh, is it number two in Celadon? Maybe. Maybe. That would make sense. Right? I heard you're heading to Celadon. You should visit my brother. He lives at number two in Celadon. Okay, okay. All right, guys. That helps. That helps. You know, I, I, if I knew how to read, that would help a lot better, right? But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I know it was all over the place. I know we weren't really productive for our very first episode. But we finally got everything fixed. We should be going to sell on next episode i think we should be good to go so i don't know if anything else is going to obstruct obstruct um the way our, we play our game i don't know why i can't speak today guys but uh yeah the end of the video guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already guys i highly recommend you guys to take advantage of uh the 10 percent off using the stands 10 at the code at the pokey mayhem uh store online you get yourself anything and get 10 percent off and uh I think it's a pretty good deal for everybody involved, guys. I really do. So take advantage of that. One other thing that I want to promote right now is my Pokemon trading card game channel, guys. The only reason I want to promote it is because it is Pokemon related, what we're doing, right? So uh, I just to let you guys know, I do play the card game a lot. And I do recommend for you guys to click on the description and to check out my channel, guys. It would mean a lot. I want to get that uh, going and put out a lot more content on that channel as well. And it would help a lot if you guys do that. I'll see you guys later. Peace!